A coalition of Arab American groups in Washington gave a last minute press conference to give their perspective on what they think the Bahrain Economic Conference represents for Palestinians. And in short, it wasn't positive. So you can't have a group of uh, individuals, business individuals in a room uh, making decisions on behalf of millions of people uh, in Palestine. So this is uh, uh, the first reason of why, of many of why it's going to fail. We also asked ago, James Zogby, president of the Vice Arab president American Wars. Institute in Washington, on what he thinks the level of support for Palestinian is in America. Nothing Jared Kushner and Donald Trump will do could possibly harm the standing of Palestinians among this demographic on the democratic side and i think that that that's that's very clear i24 news also caught up with tara urzala from the american muslim for palestine who decried the lack of practical plan in bahrain i read the 40 page proposal uh it read more like a real estate development plan than it did an actual proposal to create uh, fundamental changes on the ground for palestinians and finally we asked fellow journalist Said Arikat why some Arab countries are attending the conference. Well, uh, first of all, they are allies of the United States and they came under a great deal of pressure by the United States uh, to go to Bahrain. Uh, and they were pressured. And the Gulf states definitely were pressured. They're allies of the U.S. They have American military bases and so on. And the same thing with Morocco and Egypt and Jordan. I know for a fact that the Jordanians did not want to attend. And they sent a very low level de delegation. Munir Al-Hamoud, I-24 News, Washington.